all right guys back with another video today in this video we're going over stocks that i sold today they are losing their pressure okay so i sold about three stocks today and then we'll go over my next moves make sure you pay attention to the video that's going to come after this one around 9 p.m because i'm gonna give you guys a lot of key levels in that one. it'll probably be like seven or eight stocks that i'll be looking out for a lot a lot of stocks so in the comment section below go ahead and comment the stocks you guys are looking at if you guys want me to add them in the next video at 9 p.m central time okay so comment them and then whichever one has those key levels, I'll uh, put it in the 9 p.m. video. So, like I said, I sold about three stocks a day. They're losing a lot of uh, selling pressure. And I do see some other levels that I would like to buy them at. But right now, we're going to have to wait very, very heavy in the markets right now. So let's get into it. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And share the video out to your friends and family so we can share that knowledge. So the first one I sold today was Robin Hood. Ticker symbol H-O-O-D. Ticker symbol H-O-O-D. Now, this one was already kind of looking a little weaker on the sideways motion, but I did buy it. I did see a level that I liked, and if it broke, I told myself I would uh, I would go ahead and sell it, and it did break. I was looking at around like 13 I think it was like $13, something like that. If that level broke, I was going to sell it, so I did sell all the hood shares because it could have went either way, 50-50. It was kind of trading in that range, saw a little pressure, and then if it went on the upside, that would have been good for us because I did see a clear exit. But we are getting that pull down right now, which a lot of stocks are. So I did sell Hood. It was about a 4% loss. You guys know I like to keep my losses very small. So 4% loss on Hood. But I did sell all the Hood. We'll probably have to wait a little bit to kind of see uh, what type of pricing movements we get on Hood for me to buy again. But for right now, I did sell out of all of it. Next one is Snap. Ticker symbol SNAP. Ticker symbol SNAP. One of the key reasons I uh, I did buy this one, I did buy it. I saw an exit that I liked, but it's giving that up. Now, if you notice at this buying pressure level around 4080, there was no real buying pressure that came above it. Okay. I was hoping this wouldn't break. It did that day. Then I was hoping it would retest it. And then you see what happened today. What do you see right there? What do I tell you what happens when the buying level access resistance levels? So that's selling. Okay, once I saw that selling pressure, selling pressure start coming in, I did sell all my snap. Now, I do see a key level below price that I'm looking to buy again. But for right now, I sold all the snap, looking very heavy. And this is a key signal as well. When it ran up to the buying level and the buying level act as resistance, I tell you guys that is bearish, especially if it doesn't break it. And it kind of just stays below it like it did like this. And it might fall down to the uh, lower side. So I went and sold all that. They did have a pump up because it was the first profitable quarter. But all this right here, Feel like it's about to give up okay so kind of watch that but all these levels i'm taking off i sold all the snap shares looking to buy in again but we'll probably have to wait for some more pullback for me to do that and snap it was another negative four percent loss so right now we're about a negative eight percent loss and the third one i took and then i'll tell you why is sundale growers sndl ticker symbol sndl i do believe this one is going to go to a dollar but right now it's looking very heavy okay like I want my money working multiple ways. I don't want to be holding something too long, especially a penny stock. I want to be in it when this run is going to occur. I feel like it's getting weaker. I feel like it's about to break down. We do have a buying level right here, right around 58 cents or so. I probably still watch that level. But see, that's another that's another negative 5%. And the only loss I took on uh, SNDL, it was only a negative 1% loss. Okay, so very small, didn't really lose anything. But I do want to wait until that buying pressure confirms again, because honestly, it should have broke out here. So when it didn't break out yesterday, I was already thinking about selling it. And then I saw the selling pressure come in today and that just confirmed. OK, because it should have went out here. This should have broke out to those newer highs to the 70 range, but it didn't. It gave it all up. See how it gave it all up. Try to get up there again. Didn't gave it all up and then fell down. So I will wait again on SNDL. Like I said, I'll still keep that buying level on here around 58 cents, but I went on and sold it. I'm trying to build my cast position right now. So that's one of my next moves, trying to build my cast position. And I'm adding to some of these long-term stocks that I'm going to show you right now also. So sold SNDL, and I do plan on buying again, but let it have some pullback first. Let it kind of work its way out because it did have a nice run, right? So we might be due for a little uh, deeper retracement. So we need to watch out for that also. Now, the reason why I sold all these. Okay, so video is sponsored by me. Make sure you guys come to Apple Traders Club. We have the original signals where you get my buys and sells for options and shares. We also have a chat room where we'll be talking the markets every day. Make sure you come snag that up. Once this gets to 200, it will be full and it will be closed. Okay, I keep telling you because I know people would be messaging me. Can I get in? No, you can't. You have to wait till somebody leaves. That's the only way to get in. 
but until this full is not there yet so make sure you come get your spot in a regular and then we have vip you get everything in a regular and vip also gets their own uh, disco room and different signals okay very very more precise clean signals i think vip is the best bang for your buck and you get two monthly live teaching zooms you also get 27 24 7 access to the stock market options crash course so the crash course does come in the vip okay vip is, is more of me teaching you how to trade than just coming for signals okay it's more of me teaching you how to trade and once this gets to 50 it will be closed it is getting close to there so i'll advise you guys to come on and get your spot because once it's closed it's closed and you can still use will half off until february 7th to get 50 percent off will half off discount code to get 50 percent off stock market options crash course to better help you learning make sure you guys don't forget to get your mumu account that's where i'm depositing a hundred dollars to start the hundred dollar challenge we'll be picking the place together on the live stream i will be live streaming 9 30 a.m central time every day so make sure you come there but we'll start with a hundred dollars on the mumu account you do get up to five free stocks so when you get your mumu account you deposit a hundred dollars the five free stocks might even equal the hundred dollars so you're basically playing it for free okay so there's really no downfall to it i am sponsored by mumu I was I wanted to pick a different platform to do the challenge on, so I did pick Moomoo. Moo. I am sponsored by them, so make sure you come get your account. I think I'll be starting around Monday, okay? Probably well, not Monday. I, I'll let you guys know when we start uh, the the challenge, okay? But it will be soon. I just want to give you guys some time to kind of get the money settled and stuff. And then make sure you come subscribe to Will Knowledge Crypto. I want to get to a thousand subscribers, okay? Make sure you subscribe over here. Make sure you come check out the videos. I did post a video on Cardano, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, Dogecoin. Make sure you come check it out and subscribe. And let's go back to the charts. So that was about a 9% loss from all three, right? Very, very small. Because I sold half of my, we, ha we got put options on Microsoft. As you can tell, Microsoft is dripping, still going lower, which is perfect. I sold half of my Microsoft put options for 20% gain. So I'm still up 11% gain. I built my cash position. So now my cash position is bigger, which is what I want. I'm building that up because I'm going to be buying heavy on stocks because some stocks are just overvalued, which I'm going to show you guys after this. So sold some that were losing buying pressure, sold half of this for 20% gain. So I'm up for the day about 9%, which is good. And we're still dropping. Okay. Still dropping. So that's making us money. And we also have uh, puts on the spy. We have puts on the spy. So that's making us even more money. You guys know I had a last defense level right here that is breaking. This is very bearish. I am looking to buy heavy uh, put options, but that would be in a different video. Getting that pullback. That's what I like to see. So that's the reason why I sold some. They were losing a lot of selling pressure. Then I sold half of this to kind of minimize that. So up for the day, looking for these to fall back. Now, some of the stocks that I think, well, actually that I will be adding to for the long term, I'll give you, I think it's about like three or four that I'll give you in this video. So the video is not too long. The first one is PayPal. I've been slowly buying PayPal, but what you want to do is like, say a stock like PayPal, very profitable company. I think these prices are over. Let's see. Look at the daily, right? Let's go ahead and clear the chart. So the high was about 310 and now we're about 105. So down about 65% on a very profitable company. That is what I like. Okay. Very profitable company. I like this dripping down even more. Okay. So say you want to have a set amount that you want to put in this stock. So say you want to have a thousand dollars in the stock. I'm slowly buying like $50 here, $70 here, $100 here to build up that $1,000 position that I really want. And then once I get that $1,000 position, I would just let it sit. Okay. Just let it sit. I'm, I know for sure PayPal in a couple of years is going to be way over this. And I'm looking to a hundred times that money. So basically looking to double or even triple. So a hundred times the money will be around 215. And then a triple will be by to new highs. So that's what I'm kind of looking out for right now. PayPal, I have been buying it. The next one is Shopify, okay? Another profitable company. Shopify is at $655 right now. The high was $1,762. Huge drop on this one. This is also down about 63%. I, built, I started a position on Shopify. Like I said, have that set amount of cash position that you want and then slowly buy in. Again, not financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. So PayPal, Shopify, also in phase okay in phase high was about 282 is down about 47 percent very very good company and it's a uh, kind of like a uh, diversification into, uh, into that solar type of move so i've started building well i already had a position on here but i am building another position on uh in phase i think we might have some more pull down on in phase hasn't really broke any of these lows yet so i do want to see some more pull down on in phase i might even get put options and then the money i make from those put options i'll just move it over to some shares because i think that might be the uh Kind of the good angle 
And then one more is alphabet, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. On this one, this one is a, okay, very good company. You guys know Google, but this is also type of like a 21, the stock split. When they do their stock split, this one's gonna go to the moon. I'm expecting this type of move once they do that stock split. So I'm slowly building a position now. I haven't gone heavy or anything like that because I think we're gonna start breaking closer to the, like, maybe like the 24, 23 range because it's gonna be a 20 to one stock split. So it's gonna go down to like a hundred something. And once people see Google stock for a hundred and something, they're gonna buy that up and it's gonna be crazy. I think we're gonna see a crazy run, a lot of movement in Google once that 20 for one stock split. So this is, is kind of like that type of play that I'm slowly building. Now this one I'm going a little slower on. So say you wanna put thousand dollars, I'm going like $20, $40, $30, very, very slow until I start seeing that it's going to build some support, something like this. And then that's when I'll go heavy to see it go to the moon. Okay. So hope you guys like this type of video, a couple of stocks that I sold, a couple of stocks adding to the long term and buying. Like I said, make sure you comment down below what stocks you guys are in, what stock you guys are looking at. So in the video that I post uh, at 9 p.m., I'll try to add those in there for you. Okay. Big, big video at 9 p.m. It'll be a lot of stocks, a lot of key levels I'll be looking for tomorrow to start buying and potential crash on some stocks also. So make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Always remember, no circumvention to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see right here in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.